unboxing a home racing set by Polycar of Italy. Um, let me start off by saying that I'm, I have no connection with Polycar, um, the company who produces this, uh, other than the fact that I'm a customer, a paying customer, um, so I've not got any tie-in with them by any stretch of the imagination. Um, this is the Subaru BRZ drift set um, by Polycar, a home racing set, um, analog for analog slot car racing. Um, therefore, it doesn't do any lane changing or um, having more than one car per lane. It's one car per lane, as per the diagram in the box. And it's these two cars: a red Subaru and a sort of blue Subaru. Um, the set introduces the Polycar track system to a wider public. Um, it, has, it was widely, uh, widely anticipated by slot car enthusiasts like myself um, and the track sections became available towards the sort of in, well, middle of last year I think and then towards the end of this year um, these home sets became available and probably um, were featured on Christmas Day for a few homes. Um, it's um, a two car set Introducing the new track sections, which are a rigid plastic. Uh, unlike Skelectric um, Sport Track and its predecessor, and Ninko Track and other types of home tracks, um, it's a rigid plastic um, rather than a flexible type. So hopefully it will stay in shape much longer um, as you assemble and deassemble and reassemble the, the layouts. Um, it should be more robust and last longer. Um, it's designed for home, well, it's designed for home use and club use. Um, it's got f a few features which are more attractive to clubs in that you can connect it to um, older types of slot car circuits uh, made by um, Fleischmann and Polystill in Italy and Ninco Spanish track. And there are adapter pieces available to join this kind of track. To the older tracks. Um, this set is targeted at the UK. Um, I got it from a company called Time Tunnel Models in Scotland um, and therefore it comes fitted with a UK plug as it says on the box here. Um, it's intended for um, people, children uh, of eight years or more and um, not definitely not recommended for young children as per the warning on the front of the box here. The box kind of gives you an idea of what it's all about. Um, it's marketed as drift racing, uh, and of course that kind of originated in Japan. So there's a sort of Japanese city skyline in the background, two Japanese cars. Um, it's 130 second scale, which is the standard electric size, the large cars, the sort of down at this length of the car. Um, this box can be, you know, the track section is in this box can be set up in eight different ways um, to give you a different um, variety of, of layouts. Uh, cars are working lights. Um, the power supply, um, Postal poly Car, should say, um, have uh, promoted their brand b with one of the key aspects of having this adjustable voltage power supply. Uh, the idea being that as um, novice drivers are using the, the set in order to minimise the crashes, um, while they're still learning how to operate the controllers and handle the cars, um, you can turn down the voltage um, so as the cars are not going so fast and don't get broken so easily. Um, as they become more experienced, uh, you can turn the voltage up and um, enjoy faster racing, as it were. Um, Polycar, as I mentioned, are an, an Italian company. Um, the website is polycar.it and Polycar work in conjunction with a company called Slot It, um, which is slot.it, uh, their website. And Slot It have been um, supporting the slot car uh, industry for several years now and become well established and well um, received uh, for the cars they produce and also the parts that they sell, uh, you know, motors, wheels, um, all these kind of um, spare parts or replaceable parts that can make your standard um, slot car go better. Um, so, in between the two, there's a QR code to get more information about Polycar if you want to. And um, uh, without any further ado, I'll open the box. Um, Town Tunnel told me that the end flaps of these boxes 
were not secured, I did have to put cell tape on them. So if you get one of these, make sure you carry it uh, accordingly. Um, so the stuff doesn't fall out as you're walking along. There's a handle on the top. Oops. Uh, here we are at the insert. Um, book up into the, the sections of the type of track, the cars as you can see, you can see. Um, the power unit I can see there and um, well, should we start with the straights. Um, as I say it's a rigid plastic. Um, there are one, two, three, four, four straight sections, full straights. Um, they're joined together by these tabs and the electrical contacts for the rails. Um, really standard stuff, you sort of slot them together, they go together quite well. Um, quite a tight fit so they will not come apart too easily. Uh, there's great supports underneath so if you lean on the track or dare I say it, stand on it, um, it shouldn't come to much harm. The surface is very dimpled, um, you can see that and you can hear it. Uh, so it's not like Skeletric Sport which is a very smooth surface and um, can cause difficulties if you run the cars without the traction magnets. Um, but uh, this is this is definitely a high grip compared to Selectric Sport. Um, it's very much like Ninkle. Ninkle track has a sort of dimpled surface as well, um, but uh, is I say more rubbery plastic. Um, four straights, curve sections. <coughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So t twelve curve sections. Uh, all the same radius and angle of degree of um, of the circumference of the circle, degree of circle. So um, that gives a bit of flexibility in the circuits you can set up. You can join these together that way or you can join them together that way to do different things. Um, again, we just push together quite firmly and um, we'll come apart well, that's a, bit, that's a bit vicious, but they will come apart with a bit of a tug and just easing them out. Um, while I'm doing this again, um, I'll just point out that the there are clips which allow you to clip the track sections together. If you're making a sort of more permanent layout, um, you can clip the track sections together by putting clips in here to join the two together. Um, so that's quite useful. Um, curves. The half straight, um, that is basically there to balance up half the size of these streets, and that's basically there to balance up with the um, the power base. And this uh, power base um, is obviously where the power goes in, um, and the connector, the connectors for the um, controllers. Shapes of controllers. <laughs> controllers are quite small compared to the Skeletric ones, um, but fit the hand nicely as you can see, it just sort of fits my hand there. Um, thumb control, which people quite like or don't like. I, I like thumb control, so that suits me. Um, the Skeletric controllers are finger control, of course. Um, there's a, a button you can push to get maximum power, or a sort of boost to the, of, up to maximum power. Uh, that kind of works a bit oddly if you push down, uh, if you operate the control you can push this in and it will instantly give you full power regardless of where the, the, the control is. Um, but it locks on so if you do that it'll, you know, the car will just crash at the next corner. Um, so you need to be able to operate that in synchronization with, with the throttle. Um, three pin connection to the, the track which means that it has dynamic braking um, I'll not go into the technicalities of that, but basically it shorts out the motor and gives, it acts kind of like um, a hybrid car where the, the the back voltage from the motor will retard the rotation of the motor and therefore the car. Um, two controllers, one red, one black, and they're, they, mat, they are the opposites of each other. Um, the instructions. Um, BRZ Drift Subaru, officially licensed by Subaru. Um, the track you have. Instructions are in different languages. 
um, was how to maintain the cars, replace the brushes, the braids underneath, the contact braids, um, how to change the voltage on the adjustable power supply, there's a special key that comes with this um, and uh, hopefully it's in here somewhere. And um, this is the um, bit I mentioned about these clips that clip the track together, so you push them together. I guess if you want to remove them, you probably need to use a flat screwdriver blade or something to prise them out again afterwards. Unless you have very strong nails, you might come up with your fingernails. Um, the instructions are in Italian and Spanish, I think, and um, that looks like German. So yes, multiple languages. I think actually the overall um, outer wrapper, as it were, uh, are the instructions in English. Um, the contents of the set, the two cars, the clips I mentioned, the curves, the track sections, the adjustable power supply, we'll have a look at that in a second. And um, the, the, the sections that are available um, individually or separately. Um, outside, there, there are borders available if you want to actually, if you prefer to run the cars without the traction magnets, um, the borders will be happy, will be handy. Uh, if you prefer to run the cars, Without traction magnets, the borders will be handy. Um, power supply, if you need a replacement power supply, unlikely, I would have thought. Um, bridge piers, if you want to raise the track up a bit. Um, and so on, different lengths of tracks and things, so that's there. Um, instructions on the things. So. Ah, stickers, right. So, the cars come undecorated. Um, so there are stickers provided uh, which you can stick to the car and customise to, to the look of your own choice. Um, it, it's a bit um, self-promoting here. Uh, the, the stickers mainly say Polycar and Slot It. Uh, there's a Subaru windscreen um, strip to go across the top of the windscreens. Door squares with numbers so you can vary the numbers. Um, you could have 99 up to up to 99, I suppose, or in fact you could have 999 on one car and 555 on the other car if you wanted. Um, 555 might appeal to the Subaru fans. Um, so little stickers, the cars, and you know, the cars. Um, oh, oops. Yeah. Blue car, quite a shade of sort of metallic shiny blue, quite attractive. Um, there's a driver and a co-driver. Um, three, three, three front wheels, of course. The rear wheels are driven by a motor which is in line. You can just see the motor there, uh, in line with the, the body of the car. And um, there's a traction magnet at the back, which is adjustable. You can adjust the height of the magnet again to give you um, more downforce or reduce the downforce. Um, as with Formula 1 cars, um, the more downforce you have, the slower the car will be, the less downforce it's, the car will run more quickly. Um, so there's tuning possibilities there. Um, they mentioned that the front lights work. Um, I don't think the tail lights do work, they're just for show, but quite nicely shown. Um, the blue car and the red car. Um, again, nice red metallic car, and um, yeah, I just realised that when I pulled the blue car out, I pulled the mirrors off. That's what the sound was. Um, the mirrors have stayed on. This one is a bit more careful this time round. Um, so, something to watch out when you open yours. Um, don't pull the mirrors off. They'll be here somewhere. Uh, again, same sort of car, exact, exact same me car mechanically, um, just red. Um, the power supply. Again, there's been a lot of talk on the um, slot car forums, the web forums for slot cars, and um, slot racer online, slot racer dot online if you're interested. And um, this being an adjustable power supply, so there's a little red dial here you can slot in the clips 
um, for joining the track sections together. And um, I'm not sure how many there are. I think it said 30 old, I think it said. Um, ah, this looks like the key, a special key for adjusting the voltage of this first wire. in there and you can click round to the voltages. Um, maximum is um, 13.5 down to 12 and then down steps to 5 5 volts. Um, cars will go pretty slowly at 5 volts but again for the sort of first time on on the track um, that might be useful. Um, so again, now this is this is a sort of composite thing. It's, I think it's a two-pin plug pack in here, and for the UK market, they have fitted these adapters to convert it to a 13 amp uh, socket that we know and love. Um, there's a USB port on here as well, so you can plug in um, a charger. You could charge your phone or um, a, um, a tablet, PC, or an iPad. Um, you can charge from there and ultimately have the timing um, monitored by the tablet or the iPad, I think is the aim. I think that was the last bit now. Um, a bag of tyres and some spare brushes. So the spare tyres, the rear tyres will last a long time, but you know they, they will wear out, you know, depending on how much you're using the track, obviously. Um, and the brushes, so the replacement brushes in there. Also, replacement uh, guide blades. Um, so, if you happen to break one of the guide blades by mishandling or crashing too many times, um, there are spares there, so that's quite good. I'm hoping to see those through the, um, the poly bag, but there are four spare tyres, and so there's two sets, one for each car, as it were. Um, yeah, one, one set for each. Um, one set of spares for each car. Um, so that's it. Um, Polycar BR Subaru BRZ drift set um, for home racing, and um, it's the the latest technology if you like in slot car racing. Um, just to wind back a bit there, um, as I say, when I pulled out the blue car from its um, bag, um, there was a sort of sound and something flew off, and I didn't know what it was at the time. Um, but then managed to work out from the red car that it was the mirrors that popped off. So I found the mirrors and um, they're here. Um, representative of a sort of standard car door mirror. And um, they just plugged back in again. So the little hole in the, in the side of the door, it just pushes in and should stay in unless it gets a, a severe knock like I, I gave it there. Um, I think, if, yeah, if I, I can suspend the car from the mirror so it's, it's fairly well anchored um, but will spring about a bit um, to have a bit of compliance there. That one as well, so blue car back to as it should have been, as it came from the showroom as you see. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that uh, useful and informative. Um, perhaps if you're thinking about buying one of these sets um, it would be useful.